Hello! Welcome back to my Sasika Safari Lodge. It's been about a year, a little over a year since I did a lodge tour, so I think it's high time I did another one. And a lot has changed in this lodge. Uh, this lodge is mainly diamonds, significant rares, and great ones. And I think last year I had only two great ones, so I've gotten a few more since then. Uh, but before we begin, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, and that is that I am sick. So I currently sound not like myself. I don't usually sound like this. I'm very stuffed up. But I wanted to get this lodge tour out there before the end of the year, since we're going to be starting a new year. And that means new trophies to add to this lodge. So I'm going to go through it. I might glance over the trophies that are pretty much the same from last year, and then highlight the new trophies and probably give little snippets or like little anecdotes of what happened or because a lot of these are actually from streams or videos or things like that so i hope you enjoy stay tuned till the end for a little surprise subscribe to the channel if you aren't already please like the video if you like it and let's get into this lodge tour all right right off the bat you can see we have my beloved great one bears last year at this time i only had bear denand my first great one bear who is this beautiful spirit boy johann sebastian berk he was a time and a half we got him while i was streaming i only streamed for this grind 1600 Kills, just over 1600 kills to get this dude and I didn't always like the cream but honestly it's grown on me and I love him with the spirit and then we also have Berkeley who is number three another spirit uh, so I do not have the scarecrow luck with bears where I don't get repeats unfortunately just over 900 kills into the fourth grind we're still after that spotted and eventually hopefully we'll have one of every fur type and then beside Berkeley, we have our one and only blonde over the grinds. This is TTK. Yes, TTK is one of my friends and moderators in my chat. He had literally just left the chat to go to bed and we found this dude. So we named him TTK because TTK missed it. Uh, so these are the bear, my great one bears, the highlight, the uh, showstoppers, stole my heart, all the things. And then pretty much the rest of this room is a lot of parquet and then some other random trophies. We got an albino axis deer, diamond axis deer, diamond water buffalo, another diamond axis deer, diamond mule deer, and another diamond mule deer. This mule deer up here, I won a first to a diamond challenge on Brobra's map with Brobra and Scarecrow. Now this dude, this is my first ever diamond black buck. And this was literally like two years in the making. I was so elated because not only do I have a diamond black buck now and I co completed the diamonds of Parque Fernando, but I also completed that mission for Parque Fernando, which is to get a diamond of every species. So I finally have that off my plate of things to do in the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm so elated and so happy that it's finally over and that I don't have a giant level four that was very close to diamond on the wall. And this wall is complete. The dark red puma, I think this is probably one of my first, no, my first diamond puma ever. And dark red's my favorite fur type. Highballed cinnamon teal, they're not rare anymore. Uh, I think they used to be a little more uncommon. Over here, this is not a Parque Fernando trophy, but this is one of the newer trophies. This what is a pine bald green wing teal which we got whenever we had the uh conundrum in which i was trying to i took like three days to get a diamond green wing teal off my new england mountains this dude had uh landed right by me and i was like that looks weird because look at his head it's like very white and so uh we blasted him and found out that he's pie bald another random diamond axis deer which also can we just talk about how beautiful the rework for axis is um, they look stunning. They did that whenever they added Axis to Emerald Coast. 
We have a pylon axis. Again, stunning. Uh, a melanistic black buck, which is botched because I shot with a 30 6 or the M1 while I was grinding black buck for a little bit and I didn't know it was melanistic or I would have taken better care. Diamond, cinnamon teal, a piebald uh, mule deer which are really with a really cool rack. It's this splotchy piebald so you can't really tell on the wall that it's piebald but um, I've yet to get the higher white piebald or like the piebald with more white. More diamond uh, cinnamon teals and then my favorite which is the red colored cinnamon teal. It's not rare or anything but I just like how more vibrant the green and blue wings are. And then I have a female red to offset the male red. Uh, here we're coming into my like SRP slash I ran out of room so I threw other things into this room room. One of my first diamond planes bisons and we have a diamond gray wolf and a female. Hopefully one day that'll be a rare female. Now my diamond does say dark gray which is a rare now but the dark gray was not rare then so it's not a super rare. Um, however, this is a super rare. This is my first ever diamond. A Legacy Rack Piebald Mule Deer, and it's huge. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite trophies of all time. I didn't see that it was piebald, and I didn't see that it was diamond. I just saw big antlers running through the mountains of Silver Ridge Peaks, and I blasted, and I got it right. And I was shocked when I was running up on it, and I saw that splotch, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's piebald. And then... When I picked it up, I got the little Steam notification, first diamond, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's diamond. Uh, so this was, and it was still Legacy Rack, like right after SRP came out, before they introduced the, the true Rack Mule Deer. We have uh, a piebald male pronghorn, a leucistic male pronghorn. Here's the little nasty white ptarmigan who took a week of a stream on stream to get her down. Look at that little smug face. She knew what she did. She knew what she did. Another leucistic. A big boy pronghorn. 104.6 diamond. A um, albino male pronghorn. This chonker. Oh, this is my first diamond. By far. This is probably my first diamond. 239.3. And these both are legacy rack legacy horn uh plains bison but yeah this is definitely my first one uh this is my diamond black grouse that i got in a first to a diamond challenge in one against crow and bro bro albino female bighorn from rancho my first diamond bighorn from silver Ridge peaks um i'm just gonna tell you now any of the light brown turkeys you see were uncommon at the time, or rare, whatever they were, before they were made common. So that's why you're, you'll see light brown turkeys in this lodge, but we got diamond common turkey, diamond mountain lion, my biggest diamond bighorn, 172.4. Some small boy diamond pronghorns, like didn't even breach 100, they're all like 98. My first diamond mountain, uh, Rocky Mountain Elk, 491.4. Diamond Kitty Cat. Uh, some of these are still glitched on whenever there used to be the bug in the lodge. So there's some remnants, kind of like there's a puma on the side table over there. There's some like relics of that. And I purposely keep them just because I like them. Biggest diamond mountain goat, 113.1. I think I put the other one in a separate lodge. Or, like, my first ever diamond black bear which i actually did a grind for i did two grinds for diamond black bears before the great one black bear was even a thing so april of 2022 my first ever diamond black bear diamond peccary over here which was my first diamond peccary it attacked me on rancho on to the middle the middle which uh <laughs> i think the elephant in the room is the brand new tr trio huddle mount of Freaking Great One Fallow. Um, yeah. That happened. Uh, Great One Fallows came out this year, whenever Emerald Crows launched in June. Uh, so we have my first one, which is Starbuck, the Mocha Spoon. Then we have uh, the middle one, who was second, was Golden Graham. 
which is the Irish Elk Rack Golden Fur Type, which I wanted. And then my favorite, which is Fabled Silver, which I wanted a Silver Elk, but we got another spoon and his name is Little Dipper. So we have these beautiful boys. Silver and Mocha were one and two of my favorite furs, so I'm glad we got the furs we wanted. So yeah, there's those, the showpiece, you know, the showstopper of this room for sure is this huddle of great one fallow deer. Over uh, around the arch we have my diamond warthog and a red female which is rare. Um, on this wall we have a diamond alligator, a diamond crocagator, my one and only diamond springbok, a diamond gemsbok, a albino springbok, and then this lesser kudu. I'm just waiting. She's a red brown. I don't know if that's rare or not, but I'm literally just wait having her up there until I get um a diamond so I can put them into a multi-mall together. We have this cool um newer. This actually, yeah, I got this this year. This piebald gator with the more white on it. My other piebalds had more green. So I was really excited to have him and put him with my albino raccoon. Uh, oh yeah, we have this little albino cottontail, which was in a moose video that I did. Big girl. Uh, diamond gemsbok. Diamond wildebeesties. And then my one and only diamond male gemsbok. He is the dark fur type, but I got him before dark was rare. The breadwinner multi-mount with a bighorns 159.4 scoring uh, diamond cape buffalo and a diamond, my biggest diamond lion 49.4. At one point, at some point, I hope to have um, this all be dark brown lines. I've yet to get the dark brown. I do have a line grind set up, so we might get back to that in 2024 just so we can get some dark browns in this multi mount another big horns uh diamond red uh brown cape a rare albino water buffalo another big horns uh cape buffalo a rare orange buffalo uh water buffalo around here we have a melanistic duck mallard duck a Brown hybrid, I think that used to be rare, but I'm not sure. A piebald mallard, just because I like how they look. And my diamond green winged teal, which again took three days to get down. Three days of streams that I tried to get this thing down. Then we have, this used to be my Mela room, but we had to put some other trophies. We have the Mela brown bear, a Mela chamois, which wasn't rare at the time because they were over spawning. A Mela Mountain Lion, which was one of the first trophies I got off of Silver Ridge Peaks when it came out. A Diamond Mountain Lion. And then this bugger. <laughs> this wonky 102 scoring pronghorn. I'm so surprised he scored that high. It took us five hours on a live stream. Yeah, around Christmas last year to get this thing. I ran over, ran I ran across Rancho for five hours. Didn't shoot anything else. Props to those of you who stayed in the stream, um, especially my moderators, uh, because that was torture. I almost, I got sick during that stream. There was a, I had a wave of like nausea at one point and I kept trucking on, but props to you guys. Cause holy cow, you guys are troopers for sticking with it. Cause that was probably boring as hell. So anyway, that thing is in here now too. My favorite room, which is my Tiawaroa room which is actually stuffed to the brim. We have my max weight, max score, feral pig, diamond, 159.5. On this wall, we have two pink females, another diamond, feral pig, my first diamond feral pig off of Tiaroa. This is my level four. Yes, this is my level four uh, diamond Sika deer and a red spotted. Female Sika Deer, I would love to get a super rare red spotted. That, that is a dream. I don't, but I don't, I haven't talked about that. Uh, a super rare orange buffalo, water buffalo, and a super rare red spotted are like, uh, Sika Deer are like my dreams. We have a cute little albino level two Sika, another diamond feral pig, another pink feral pig, an actual rare 
uh, Melanistic, Chamois, Diamond Turkey, and Uncommon. Uh, oh no, that's my Leucistic! That's right! This girl popped up, um, she popped up during my fallow grind. I saw her in the distance and I was like, that is brighter than a light brown. Uh, my first ever Leucistic, that's right. So she's brand new from July of this year. Some big boy diamond, uh, 221.3 and 221.2 diamond feral goats. My big boy, 224.7 diamond feral goat. Also, this mixed mix was not rare when I got this. It was uncommon. This was a few months after uh, Tia Waroa had come out. Mix was not rare, so it's not a super rare. Uh, another 224.7, a diamond red deer, diamond red deer. These are just randoms that I found. And then a melanistic euro rabbit, which is not rare. They were over spawning at the time. We have a my first diamond fallow deer, just to see 5.5, diamond red deer, 266.3. We have some wonky, we have a wonky diamond, uh, sorry, wonky piebald red deer, a tiny piebald fallow that my friend and moderator Jebba gave me. We have, um, my first ever diamond chamois, 59.5, which was a level four. My second ever, which was 59, and it was a level five. So the level four actually scored higher than the level five. And then we have a crap ton more of diamond sikas all with different racks and my biggest being 216.8 and uh, my smallest being I think that level 4 203.3 oh no this level 5 201.6 so this level 4 is actually bigger than that level 5 but yeah I kind of like Sika's I would love a great one Sika as well as um, a great one water buffalo actually my first true horns diamond plains bison that was a more recent kill and a more recent video we have a big boy 267.3 diamond fallow one the first biggest fallow on my fallow grind or one i guess one of the biggest albino plain bison on uh, which i again this is a relic of the bug where you could glitch him onto wherever we're coming into this is like Quattro and some hirschfelden and my clutch uh legacy horn Diamond Euro Bison, my first and only, with my super rare Grey Goose. I had been wa waiting to be able to make this mount. Uh, this Grey Goose used to be with my Mela Goose, which I'll have to show you. It's actually out there at the Cape Buffalo. But um, yeah, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to be able to put my super rare Grey Goose with a Euro Bison. So we have that multi mount, and then of course we have the all diamond grand slam, which used to be the big thing. Like now, people are trying to get you know their huddles of great ones, but this was a big task for a lot of people was to get that all diamond grand slam, which I still think is fantastic and really fun. Diamond roebuck, a piebald red deer, which they also look fantastic after their rework. Another diamond roebuck, a big boy, 85.4. A little albino female, greatest ibex. A uh, diamond southern Spanish ibex. South, sorry, southeastern Spanish ibex. This was actually level four. The diamond that's in there was the next uh, lake over. That was a level five diamond. It was crazy. Um, my max score, max weight Iberian wolf diamond. My only one. A diamond red deer to just tie in the room, a winter wolf female, Iberian wolf, which are rare, and the diamond mouflon, which if you don't know about this mouflon, I just couldn't get a diamond mouflon to save my life. I had a ton of, um, I think four or five rules, and I was going to do a grind for one, and then my friend and moderator Nate gifted this to me on New Year's Day. Yeah, it was like New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. So um, he gifted this to me, which was super nice. We weren't like, we barely knew each other at this time, by the way. And he just like, no, I want you to have it. And it's like, I don't want to take it, but okay. 
So he gifted this to me, so it's very special Mufon. And if you frequent my streams, I have a border that I put around my face cam. If I'm like switching games, I'll just move to my face cam. And I always make sure to put the Mufon because it's part of the lore of my channel where I was gifted the Mufon by Nate. And then we have this little piebald red deer. I think both of these were gifted to me by Hollow as well. It's getting gifted things. Uh, before we go down this hall, here's our mellow goose that used to be in the multi aggressive goose multi mount with the gray. But mellows are pretty cool. They just are missing the band around their neck. Diamond mule deer. I think this one, this one completed that portion of the Parque Fernando missions. If I'm not mistaken. A one of my pie bald was about elk bulls. I have another one in a in a bonus lodge. My big boy 509.6 diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. He used to be on a mount by himself, but he had to move to the wall because I needed more I needed more platform space. One of my diamond brown bears, one of two, both from my med bed. The must steer wall. My 273.2 and 273.5 diamonds, a melanistic male, and a piebald female. My another diamond, oh, eastern wild turkey, there we go. A, oh, this, uh, there's a video on this. This was a level 3 female bighorn, and it has the curls, which is actually pretty rare. They don't usually curl like that, so if you see a level 3 female, Bighorn with the curls, it's a rare occurrence, so shoot it. One of my diamond uh, black tails, 179.5. It took forever to get one of these. This is my first one. It took forever to get a diamond black tail. One of my albino mooses. Very cute. He was a level three. Let's go into this room, which is Hirschfelden slash Medved. Albino boar from my Hirschfelden. She's sleeping on the table. That's obviously from the glitch. Uh, brown hybrid when they used to be on common. Brown hybrid diamond male. That was my, that was a level four diamond and it was my 100th diamond. A level seven albino brown bear, which I actually botched. Unfortunately, he got glitched out and I wasn't patient. But he was a level 7, he would have been gold, but I botched him. A gray goose, which is again rare. Diamond wild boar, a, red, a cinnamon brown bear diamond. Not rare, because cinnamon's only rare for black bears, but you know I love cinnamon bears. A diamond wild boar, two diamond capers, both from Medved. We have the leucistic, melanistic, and albino female reindeer cow reindeers i like that they're like talking to each other and she's like hey you're talking about me that's how that, that's definitely what they sound like right another good diamond goose moving on to this room we have one of my favorite trophies of all time this is uh edwin edwin yeah edwin was my first ever level five and first ever piebald moose uh, on my Leighton, and at the time, 291 was Diamond for Moose, and he scored 278, which now is a Diamond score, but before, this was way before they changed the Diamond requirement, so I could have had a Super Rare Moose, and I didn't even know about it, uh, because I was brand new to the game, and I think I had just started watching Flinter, and he had just gotten a Piebald Moose, so I knew what they were. And then I also knew what diamonds were, or like what the diamond levels were. I'm like, it was starting to make sense in my brain. And so when I saw this thing, I took great care in taking him down. I had to track him for the longest distance. And then when I picked him up and found out that he had trolled, I was devastated. He used to be one of the breeders of my lodge, uh, at the front of my lodge, but we've gotten cooler things since him. So he's been relegated to my latent room here in the back of... My Lodge, despite how much I love him, he is one of my favorite trophies, along with my super rare mule deer, but he gets to hang out here with some other cool trophies, like look at his best friend here, the uh, albino black tail, my first piebald white tail, 
which is on New England Mountains. Another gift from Nathan, uh, a 270 scoring whitetail deer because he was deep in his whitetail grind before his great one spawned. And he's like, yo, do you want a 270 whitetail? And I was like, yeah, because I'm not going to shoot whitetail for a very long time. So ta-da, <laughs> I got one from him. And then we have this 260, which I think I'm pretty sure he thought that this was going to be a 270 and he let me take it, but it wasn't. It was a 260. Um, and a, a piebald doe and a 257, which was a level 2 diamond from my Reventuli Coast. 288 diamond moose. We have my second ever diamond uh, black bear, which was so close to max score, 23.9. This is from my second diamond grind and uh, yeah, a cinnamon from that grind as well. We have this cinnamon, which was my first ever cinnamon on my great one grind. And he's a big boy. He may have been a level seven, actually. He's a gold and he was, yeah, he's my first ever cinnamon. So he's front and center. 84 diamond moose, piebald bull, a piebald cow. We have my first ever diamond whitetail, 264.1, a diamond mallard, 19.7, another diamond mallard, 19.6, and my biggest diamond blacktail, 185.2, which was a video on the channel this year. On to the main room. Here we have our diamond coyote with some an array of la mallards, a blonde female, which at the time wasn't rare. I think they're rare now. A leucistic male, which has always been rare. And my biggest diamond, 20.6 mallard. The royalty melty mount of a blonde male and female lion. That male was in multiplayer. It was a level 7. I spotted him from a mile away. I have two albino grizzly bears, both female. So there's one of them. My second super rare, fallow from my grind. He is 253.1 a uh, piebald. My other one is in a multi mount in my fallow lodge. Let me know if you want to see my wonky, my bear, and my fallow lodges. I'm more than happy to do tours of those. I often actually do tours of lodges at the end of my streams if people ask me if I'm on the hunt or call of the wild. So either ask me when I'm live or I will do a video about it. Here is my first ever great one, which was the red deer. This guy was an initial spawn on Quattro Colinas, whatever. Initial spawns were still a thing. And I have him with Amela Hind, which was gifted to me for, by my friend Hollow. A nice piebald black tail with my big boy diamond gray puma from Parque. My big boy diamond Roosevelt elk 412.8 with a, an albino female uh, puma. One of the first things I shot on Parque after the warden lady was like, by the way, don't shoot any pumas. And I'm like, well, there's a white one. I'm definitely shooting that thing. Diamond Eura, Eurasian Lynx from my Reventoli Coast and a Mela uh, female from multiplayer that Brobers tried to steal from me. Mela Basite, Basite, Basite. Ibex and a Diamond Gratos Ibex. A wall of predators. And a pig. I guess a pig could be predator, but diamond gray fox, highballed female red fox, highballed female raccoon dog, dark brown male raccoon dog. Um, dark brown is dark highballed, dark brown and orange or and albino are rare for the raccoon dogs. A leucistic color peccary from my super rare grind she's a female her name is olive i was shooting on the females because they were level threes and i wanted to shoot them down to twos and of course that's the that's the only the one and only rare i got and of course the albino female gray fox a piebald male alligator a diamond alligator 590 or sorry 493.5 and another piebald which is like the one where he like rubbed his face off and then on this wall, we have another piebald alligator male, a blonde piebald um, male raccoon, a diamond piebald har harlequin. Again, the piebalds are not rare. A dark gray diamond harlequin and a diamond gray wolf, which uh, attacked me while I was looking for moose zones on my Yukon. 
And then we have my trio fallow, which this what they were all initial spawn fives on my Tia Waroa. At the time, my biggest fallow, 267.6, 264.1, and 261.2. And that's it. Actually, there's something missing. There's something missing here. That's better. And our brand new addition to the lodge, my fourth great one fallow, which is a painted spoon and the fur type that I needed. He spawned on Friday, December 8th, and it was 94 kills into my fourth grind, only three diamonds, and he spawned at the same zone as my second great one. And I'm super pleased. <laughs> that we fight we got the painted the last fur that i wanted and honestly i'll probably continue to try and get the typical rack and most likely the hooded because i might as well finish off the furs that i'm missing <laughs> the fur that i'm missing but this is our newest guy and if you're a member of the channel you will be able to see the video of me taking this guy down but I'm so pleased that we have a brand new great one in the lodge. And if it weren't the painted, he probably would have found himself a place on the wall. But he deserves to be by himself here. That's my lodge. And like I said, if you want to see any of the other lodges in my uh, list, the Fallow Lodge, the Bear Lodge, my Wonky Lodge, I'm more than happy to share those. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy hunting to those of you who are deep in the grinds or deep in the huntings for your trophies of your dreams. And I hope you have a good day. Bye!